Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about simple transposition. So what are the steps to perform the transposition? It is very important in the clinical practice because patient does not appreciate sometimes minus letter. So you can just transpose them into the plus. So here we have a prescription of plus three, which is the sefer or the sepharical correction of the patient. And along with it, we have a cylindrical correction of patient, which is minus one. This is a cell of the patient and we have the axis which is 90 degree so these are the axis of the patient cylindrical number now how we have to simply transpose it we just have to do three steps in the first step you need to add plus three diopter or you just need to add the sphere into the cylinder in the second step you just need to change the sign of the cylinder right you just need to change the sign of cylinder if it's plus you can change into minus if it's minus you can do it into the plus so now third is the rotate the axis of the patient's prescription right so if the axis what does it means that if the axis of the patient is 90 degree or greater uh, or less than 90 over here sorry so if the axis of patient is 90 or less so you just need to add 90 degree into the axis of the prescription and if it is 180 or above 90 if the axis in the prescription is 180 or above 90 degree so you just need to what you have to do that you just need to subtract you need to subtract the 90 from the above prescription of the patient right so this is how you can perform the simple transposition of a patient's prescription so here we have an example of plus three sphere and minus one cylinder so what we are going to do over here is just add the sphere into the cylinder so it's plus three plus minus one so plus minus minus so the plus three will subtract from the minus one so you we know that it is this new sphere of the patient because we have to transpose so we want new sphere new cylinder and axis so over here plus three and minus one will be equal to the plus two diopter sphere right so this is a new sphere of the patient's prescription the one we are going to transpose so we are going to write it in above so that we don't get uh, forget this so this was the uh, sphere now we want to find the new cylinder of the transposed prescription so what is over here this is the second step in this step i have already told you that we just need to change the sign of the cylinder so you what if it is plus so one cylinder so you just have to change the sign into minus if it is minus so here you can see it's minus so you just need to change the sign and minus will turn into the plus so this is a new cylinder of patient's transposed form right patient's prescription so i'm going to write it over here again so this is plus one so now the third step of the transposition is to find the new cylinder which is just rotate the axis of the patient's prescription this is the new axis of patient's prescription right which is the transposed form so over here i have told you that it is 90 degree the axis is 90 degree so if axis is 90 degree or less you just need to add 90 degree so 90 plus 90 is always equals to 180 so i have over here mentioned again that if the axis of patient is 90 or less than 90 degree you just need to add the 90 degree so this will make with the 90 plus 90 will be equal to 180 degree and this is the new axis of the patient's prescription i'm going to note it over here again so now we are done with the three steps and the transposed form of the above prescription is uh, the same we have a new sphere new cylinder and a new axis so this is actually equal to the above prescription it is plus two sphere and here it is a plus one cylinder and along with the axis which is 180 degrees so this is the transposed form of the above prescription and they are optically equivalent to each other right so there is no difference in this and above prescription so this was all about today's lecture which is transposition and i hope you got it to how to transpose a simple prescription so if you have any query comment in comment section thank you so much